Hello viewers, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So, last mission, we finally, finally dealt with Exult. We removed them from the face of the Earth. We completely and utterly destroyed them, and I'm, as you may be able to tell, quite happy with that outcome. Um, so, moving on, we have a major problem, which is this huge alien ship over the South Atlantic. Uh, so, we're going to have to deal with that soon. Uh, which reminds me that uh, if you played this game before, you know that uh, the appearance of this ship kind of marks as we're heading towards the end of this series. Um, so I'm going to have to find something to play after this. If you have any ideas of something you'd like me to play, uh, especially along the lines of XCOM, um, do let me know. I may, I've may i been considering playing one of the older XCOMs, uh, such as Apocalypse, but I'm having difficulty getting the recording software to record it and my voice and its sound and everything and they're quite old games so there's a fair bit of problem there but uh, we shall see and I'll have to see uh, what we can do with that. But anyway, let's press the scan for activity button. We're mostly waiting for uh, this heavy plasma in this cancer report. Actually let's, um, before we do that, let's head over to engineering and look at the foundry because we don't have a foundry project running at the moment and we could probably could do with uh, the advanced fabrication processes uh, that the aliens used to build the sector pods, repurposing vehicle and facility construction at a significant cost, of course. Uh, we could do this. Uh, we could improve. Um, we could do advanced servo motors. Advanced servo motors is good because it allows us to move the. Uh, improves the mobility of our units. Stealth satellites could be useful. Um, let us cons let's do the advanced server motors. Begin project. Begin project. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. Yes. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. We should. We could build another facility. Um, we've only got a line down here. See so what we can do. Uh, we can build genetics labs. It's a bit late to try out genetics. Uh, we could build a laboratory. Uh, building a lab, the good thing about building labs is they give you extra bonuses to 10% um, increase to research speed for every adjacent laboratory. We have a fair amount of research left to do, so let's begin construction of that. 10 days, that's not a problem. Um, research, we have heavy plasma in 5 days. Okay, let's press the scan for activity button and see what happens. Nothing. Heavy plasma completed. Let's assign a new research project. So, we've struggled to maintain the test environment that minimizes the safety risk involved with these experiments, but at the same time, it does not limit our imagination when it comes to new developments. With those logistical issues handed, handled efficiently enough to the engineering team, we proceed with our initial prototyping. Although we've spent a great deal of time studying aliens' ha own heavy plasma rifle, there are still a number of questions surrounding its use enhanced functionality, maintaining acceptable level, blah, 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 blah. So we can now produce heavy plasma cannons. Heavy plasma guns. Uh, we can produce them only use other ones. Heavy plasma available for manufacture. Particle cannon available for manufacture. Particle cannon sounds interesting. Heavy plasma. Heavy plasma, particle cannon. Uh, so we have the ethereal device, normal six days. But um, I kind of want to look at a few other things before we do that. Fusion lance, for instance, we could do. Guided fusion launcher. It's kind of what I'm into research right now. Seven to engineering. Uh, we have build and buy items. The thing that I'm most interested in right now is um, where is it? Ah, oh, particle cannon. Particle cannon. We don't have enough cash for particle cannon right now. Particle cannon is a much better version of a much better weapon for. Our uh, mix, mix cheaper, heavy plasma again, also with quite a bit of cash. So, we've advanced server motors in one day, satellite in five, level between six. Um, cans report in nine days. Let's scan for activity and see what happens. Contact okay, we have a contact over Canada, medium, large scout. Uh, let's scramble interceptors. Demon one. Let's go shoot down this UFO. We've got a cancel mission, cancel report coming. Boom. So, I'd like to try and get a high marking for this. Uh, this shouldn't, in theory, be too much of a problem. 
Uh, fire system doing light damage during the encounter. Fire system shut down the UFO. Okay, let's leave the report. So, nine aliens in this mission. I shall prepare... Oh, I'm running out of little... So I use post-it notes just just on my desk for making notes. I'm actually running out of post-it notes from from various little notes I make during these recordings. Uh, so nine, a thrill, meet on elite sectoid commander, uh, meet on berserkers, meet on floater. No, as you'll note, species detected. No sectopod. That makes me happy. Send Sky Ranger. Uh, I don't think we actually want to make any changes. Oh, we got major. Major Mir, Colonel Lombardi, that's the one I want to make changes to. Customize, he needs to be in his black, number 10. Yeah. We really are getting our squad really up to par now. Let's launch this mission. Head out to kill those aliens. Nine aliens. Nine aliens, none of which are sectopods. That makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Dropship has arrived. Okay, begin assaults. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Okay. The UFO came down in a sparsely populated area away. Right. Let's land. That was going to be mailed on this map. I um, I'm considering building another mech suit just because I'd like to try out some of the other features. I think grenade launcher. I've had a discussion with some people about um, about the grenade launcher in particular. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. And like I personally actually really like the um, the healing spray. I find, I think the healing spray is probably one of the best items for the mech suits, largely because like moving to position. Once you get into classic, once you get into the higher difficulty settings, taking damage becomes kind of a kind of a problem. And I kind of, it's not so much taking damage or, or losing people during fights that's the problem. The problem is losing people On the move. between fights and having a very dense. Um, oops! Oh, you can't overwatch, can you? Get down. Um, is is when people get injured during between fights, and as you've seen in the past couple of episodes, I had to delay my assault on the XCOM base and kind of got pissed off by them because I didn't take care, care, good enough care of my troops. So it can be a real problem. Anyway, this mission in hand. Let's move on forwards. Uh, that would be dashing. I can't move forward there. Let's try and find this. Actually, let's have a look. Let's go see where this this thing is. Not seeing it immediately. I'm assuming it's ahead of us somewhere. Position confirmed. Moving Oriana up. Looking forward to getting her particle cannon. Those things look amazing. Well, actually, no. They, I think they don't look as nice as the railgun. I think the railgun is the nicest, aesthetically pleasing weapon for the uh, mech suits. But in terms of its sort of tactical ability, it looks quite appealing. Put ourselves in an overwatch position. One of the um, annoying things about using the key instead of using anything else to go into overwatch is that they do say their little overwatch line each time. I think that's kind of charming though. Okay. Jack Cryer taking a reaction shot on that berserker. Not doing any damage though. Uh, I think Mia may also get a shot off. Oh. We're getting a sniper shot. Pixie hits for eight damage. Spectre is going to hit for 8 damage on the other target. Good shots. Um, more. <laughs> lots and lots of overwatch. That's one down, just through overwatch. And we have a sector, a um, meet on Berserker right there. Let's take him out. It's 2 down. Within the zone. 
Uh, we'll put him in Overwatch immediately because he's done his job. I'm actually tempted just to see what happens if we just go into Overwatch again. Because that kind of worked. This is why I like Overwatch. People always... Well, I always feel bad about Overwatching uh, in videos because even though it hasn't stopped me doing it for the entire series. Um, because it doesn't like make great footage. Okay, well, nothing else is going to come. But it's so effective. It's so incredibly effective that, like, there, I didn't take any damage and I killed them before they had a chance to Moving. really get into my... up into my face. And mutons are... okay. Mutons have ceased to be as big a threat as they used to be. They are now... they're still quite... you know, they can still do a decent amount of damage. But they're not the huge threat that they were earlier on. So I can take them out quite relatively. Well, I can take them out relatively easily now, with the advanced weaponry we have, with our plasma guns and our rail guns and whatnot, and our titan armor, which means we can't even get hurt. I don't think I've actually had anyone die for quite some time now, and I think that's probably because of the titan armor and also my incessant use of overwatching. Overwatch. Um, one of the keys to this game I found through playing it multiple times sound? now is uh, oh we have a mechtoid and a sectoid commander which is going to take 7 damage from Pixie not a bad shot uh, yeah one of the things I've learnt from this game is the effectiveness of Overwatch and kind of taking oh she missed uh, kind of taking things slow okay the Mel mechanic kind of tries to force you to kind of tries to force you to take more risks. Uh, okay, so that next suit went into Overwatch, but we have a rocket. And it was about here. Uh, so we could do that. That's one option. We also have Spectre. Spectre doesn't really have a line of sight onto it. But he could throw a battle scanner and give us a bit more vision. Got Let's it. move him up. I'll throw out a battle scanner. Okay, good thing about battle scanners is uh, I'm not sure whether or not I'll actually gain... Oh, apparently I didn't gain vision on them. They're apparently further away than I thought. They must be up here. Okay. So what's our range on that rocket then? The range on that rocket is... Yeah, that's probably not enough to actually hit. What might be interesting and fun though is... Uh, no, I want to proximity mine launcher. Okay, let's move Mir forwards. Oh no, I don't want to move Mir forward because she'll trigger that guy's overwatch. Um. Uh, let's put him in a run and gun. Okay, Lombardi, go into run and gun. Let's put you up there. He isn't going to see anything. Let's put him in Overwatch. Bugger. My great plan has failed. Uh, let's move Mir down. Down here. Proximity mine launcher. Uh, I'm going to put this proximity mine here. Theory that should still be in line of sight of or oh. placing proximity mine. And then fire rocket. A fire rocket. Oh, that might not be in range. Let's try it anyway. Boom. Firing at the rocket. Hopefully it's gonna Yes, excellent. That's another alien down. Um I love that proximity mine trick. That's that's one of my. I think that's just a neat trick to do with proximity mines is using the mechanics to uh, ex extend your like explosives range effectively. And okay, I used I used two resources to do that. I used both the proximity mine and the. Uh, oh, this is gonna be a pointless shot. Yeah, I used both the proximity mine and a rocket just to do. A small amount of damage in the end, but uh, 
comparatively, like there's 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 worse things to do. I killed the target. That basically is my point. At the end of the day, the target is down. Um, which is kind of my only option, or kind of my my um, biggest my biggest want in this world is to kill targets in the world of XCOM. <laughs> Making myself sound awful, though. Uh, yeah, the the biggest thing I want to do in this game is get rid of aliens, and if that sometimes means wasting resources in a slightly crazy manner, then that's what I'll do. I kind of want to kind of want to get this guy's Overwatch kill. off. So let's run that gun up. Uh, we're not going to get lightning reflexes. 74% chance to hit. Uh, he's out in the open, so I don't see why this would be 74, but let's go with it. First shot's probably going to miss. Second shot hits. Uh, second apparently missed, but it, I, I saw it hit, so I'm going to call that a hit. Haven't triggered his overwatch, unfortunately. Oh, come on, that's complete bull. Pixie's going to take 8 damage from overwatch, even though Jack Ryan was closer. He's going to fire, 100% chance of hit, doesn't 8 damage. 7 damage, not bad. Uh, we have Prototype back here who... Yeah, no chance. No chance for a rocket. But we can move him forward. Fire, 70... F uh, yeah, 76% chance to hit. Oh, hits for 7 damage, not bad. That leaves us with Mia. Ariana. I'm, I'm going to move up. Fire. 100% chance to hit. Does up to 10 damage. Boom. That's now four killed out of the Enemy nine. Destroyed. Leaving Desperado a bit on his own. Uh, Spectre. Spectre needs to be... Let's put him in some heavy cover up here. Just because he's sort of too far back there. Hearing the sounds of heavy floaters probably ahead of us. Let's put Mia up. Up on this ridge. Let's get some vision ahead of us. Uh, not seeing anything immediately, which is fine by me. Kind of want to flank round to the right here. Largely because. Um, actually, going to double. No, maybe not. Flanking round to the right gives us. We have that little bit more cover. A little bit more vision though on that side. The left. I've kind of blown the hell out of. So it would be a bit risky to put guys in there. Got it. Bit of a short move for Jack Ryan there. Uh, we've lost one Melcaster, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. Uh, Pixie, unfortunately, was going to have to dash there. Oh, hello, Grid. This happens sometimes. I don't quite know why. Goes away there. And prototype, you can overwatch. Yeah, we lost one mail canister. I don't expect to get the mail canisters. We have over 200 mail just sat in base. Not really doing much. Um, I mean, I could, like, make more mech troopers, but I find that... I don't think that would be a great plan, basically. Uh, my big problem with mech suits is they're good but they're they're kind of good at what they do I don't know where this ship is I don't think an entire force made of mech suits would actually be that good they're a little bit too vulnerable to, to high amounts of damage because they can't take cover uh, let's move Jack Ryan over sprinting over but that's fine uh, Prototype can see where he is. I'm actually going to heal. Heal Pixie. Because, as I said before, like, you want to minimise the amount of damage anyone takes. Like, even though that wouldn't cause her to be. 
you know, that would be taken by her armor. So when, basically, she wouldn't be injured when we went back to base with that amount of damage. But if she takes any more damage, she takes, you know, she gets, she gets hit for 8 damage, which is not unreasonable to expect. Um, she gets hit for 8 damage, that could put her in the area of being injured for the next mission. Which might be kind of an important mission. So I don't, I like to keep everyone topped up. Uh, 2 or 3 damage, that's fine, I'm not going to get, oh there's the ship. I'm not going to bother about 2 or 3 damage. And I normally wouldn't bother about sort of 6 damage, but this is going quite well, and there's no point sort of risking it, as it were. Moving to position. Moving Oriana forward. No Cyrenians right now. We have we do see their ship ahead of us. Uh, we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to move. Uh, Spectre. Move Spectre forwards. But everyone else can go into Overwatch. I'm assuming the last three people on this, last three aliens on this mission, are likely to be um, a ethereal and two elite guards. That's what I'm expecting. So we should only have six, so two other aliens to defeat before we actually enter the ship. If my if That's my logic and sort of thoughts is correct, or are correct, but we are hearing aliens ahead of us, so we'll continue to move up Moving in cover. Up. That's not a great piece of cover there that I've moved Pixie into, but oh well. Headed there now. Move Cowboy up as well. Desperado, Desperado is a bit too far back. But because he has a shotgun, you know. Um, if he didn't have a shotgun, he wouldn't be too far back. But he kind of is where he is. Um, hmm. No, wrong one. Wrong button. Next soldier, that's what I wanted. Who are we missing? Prototype hasn't moved. We move him up next to Cowboy. And also Spectre. Uh, I kind of want to put Spectre up yes, on this sir. little ridge up here, where that log is, or against that tree. Moving to Overwatch. Roger that. Just because it be nice. That's a good. That's a decent sniper point. It's a little. It's a little close to the ship, but. Hmm. Mel canister that way. We could head towards that Mel canister. It's probably quite low. Um, it's probably going to go soon. I'd rather just enter the ship, really, than try and get that metal canister. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's actually closer than I thought it would be. That's affirmative. Let's move Oriana forward. Let's see if we can get sight on that compass. Two turns. Two turns. Uh, I'm probably not going to get there in time. Even if I were to kind of dash and stuff. I'm on the move. move Pixie up slightly. Even if I were to go completely gung-ho, I wouldn't get it, probably, and I would put myself at risk. And I don't like risk in this game, as you might be able to tell. <laughs> uh, I'm not a great I'm not a great risk taker when it comes to XCOM. Uh, having my ass handed to me in many other XCOM games has sort of taught me taught me the ways of XCOM and how being too crazy even if like if I was really low on my old line you needed it I might go for it but right now no I'm good I'm good What's more interesting, though, however, is the fact that meld canisters normally On the move. come with defenders, come with aliens to defend them. But this one doesn't seem to. I like how meld canisters kind of get thrown okay. from the ships as well. Like, you'd imagine the meld canisters would be inside the ships. It's just sort of the fact that it, this is a game, so obviously it has game mechanics. Um, 
But logically, like you'd imagine that they would be inside the ship. Or destroyed. They might be destroyed by the impact, but they shouldn't, certainly wouldn't sort of be resting just outside the ship like that one is. It's kind of a bit weird. Um, yeah, this 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 is beginning to be a bit of an Overwatchy, bit of an Overwatch craziness. It's mostly because I I managed to kill those guys really quickly and easily. Um, and I don't, I just don't want to rush in and get everyone killed really What's early on. There goes the metal canister. Uh, I'm actually going to change tack now. Instead of continuing to move around that corner, I'm actually going to move inside the ship. Okay, no line of sight there. Lombardi, you can move up next to Oriana. And Pixie. Hmm. I could dash Pixie in. Let's get her up inside. Uh, prototype, you can be nearby, but not inside. And Cowboy. Cowboy, you can dash. You can dash up to peek around that corner slightly. Expected. Give us Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay. Hearing, hearing noises. Not seeing anything though. Um, the way into that space is probably going to be through this door. So let's go take out those. Let's move inside. Um, Heading there now. Okay. Still no one's out of anything. I'm gonna dash up to that doorway. Cause I want I just wanna get in there, basically. Location confirmed. We're not seeing anything right now. Um let's get everyone in position to assault that doorway. Let's not take cover behind the uh energy the the energy cell right straight directly next to it at least. Jack Ryan. And Spectre back here is basically useless now. Oh we're hearing stuff ahead of us. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Uh he's basically useless where he is. Double time. Uh because he has he has no line of sight on the inside. Okay. Right, let's open this door and let loose the craziness. Actually, let's move me around first. Um, I don't know, can we fire a proximity mine through that door? Screw it, let's fire a proximity mine through the door. Confirmed mine placement. Oh, okay, there was nothing there. I think I may have misremembered. I think it's actually in here, maybe. Oh, well. Uh, let's move inside. No line of sight. No aliens there. Pixie. Heading to that location. Move in. That would be really cool if there was just a group of aliens right there and we would have killed them. Because uh, they would have moved immediately and hit the proximity mine. Will do. It's one of the reasons I like the proximity mines because you can just do silly things like that. Uh, Spectre. Let's get him with everyone else. He's a bit far back right now. Desperado, Overwatch. No, I don't want to look at his thingies. Overwatch little prototype. I forgot about you. Let's put you up on that little ridge and get you some cover there. And Overwatch. Nothing immediately going to happen. We're yeah, we're definitely hearing stuff in here. Do you hear something? That's where the uh That is where our lovely alien friends are. Um we'll move Ariana 
into position. And along with Desperado. Uh, Spectre's actually not in a bad position. And neither is Cowboy. Prototype kind of is, but there's no way else he can move. Let's try this trick again. Through the door. Deploying mine to that position. Yep. <laughs> oh, excellent. I love doing that. Okay, we've gotten we've landed some damage down on them immediately just by the being there. Okay, oh Spectre doesn't have an on site. Okay, we have Pixie who can do eight damage up onto that. Uh Ethereal, who's gonna take eight damage. Prototype at the back there, can't do anything. Uh Cowboy could run and gun. Let's run and gun Cowboy. Run and gun him to over here, onto that corner. He'll get line of sight. 80% chance to hit does up to 8 damage. Let's go with that. Oh, he reflected the attack. Means we're going to take some damage. 2 damage, that's not bad. Uh, Spectre doesn't have a line of sight. Desperado does. He can rapid fire, or he can normal fire. Or he could move. He could also run and gun. Um, what's his other option? 62. 40, uh, 47. Let's run and gun. Let's run and gun. Directly behind this meet on Elite. Rapid fire, 100% chance to hit, 100% chance to crit. Boom. Boom. Get rid of that guy. Leaves us with prototype. Uh, who cannot really get into a good position there. Uh, I guess we can move him around to here. We could throw a grenade. No, that's not going to do anything. Uh, important note, I'm actually going to hunker down here instead of going into Overwatch. Specifically because... Um, actually. Specifically because... I don't want to risk dealing damage to anyone this guy takes mind he takes over. I can do two damage with a pistol. One damage. <laughs> Some damage is best, better than none. So what's this guy going to do? He's going to mind control Pixie. He's going to mind control Pixie. Unfortunately, we're going to rapid fire. Boom! Missed. Boom! Hit and a kill. That takes us down to... Uh, we kill two there. That means there is only three left. We don't know where they are right now, though. Pixie's been had her turn used for her. It's kind of rude. Um, this does leave us in a position where we don't actually know where the last aliens are. Apparently we have the aliens nearby music, though, so there we go. Let's dash into some cover. Uh, we have prototype back here as well. Who? Um. Mm. Not sure. Not sure what to do now. Heading there now. Let's continue on. Let's look around this corner. Look inside that doorway. It's probably our best plan. Um. Dash prototype up. For now. Spectre, you can say we're going to go into Overwatch. Uh, actually, no. No, 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 no. Change back to your sniper rifle. And then go into Overwatch. Sniper rifle better. Okay, we're hearing. Oh, yeah, they're down there. Okay. We're definitely hearing something there. Let's move Ariana in. Oh, hello. We 
we have the arrival of multiple people. How many percent chance to hit does it to 10 damage? Let's get rid of one of them. Boom. Standard floater, gone. Uh, we have Desperado here who had a chance to hit. Let's get rid of another one. Boom. One more remaining who is up on the ceiling above us. Uh, he's up here. Uh, we have Cowboy who actually could probably do with reloading soon. Moving. But we'll move him up. Put him into Overwatch. Uh, Spectre, you can stay where you are. Pixie, you can move around. Go into Overwatch. Yeah, everyone's running low on ammunition. That's not in this particular mission. Not much that of a problem. See what that. See what that last. Yep. Multiple hits from Overwatch. Missed. Missed. Multiple shots from Overwatch, I should say. This guy's going to appear. Move again. Uh, where's Pixie? No, where's uh, Oriana? Gonna move Oriana directly into contact with this guy. Go into kinetic strike. Engaging in close combat. What? Oh, okay. Thank you, Oriana, for just battering the wall instead of. Ah. Uh. That was going to be cool, Oriana. Why did you have to do that? Let's move prototype round. 98% chance to hit. Prototype getting the killing hit. Nine killed. We didn't collect any meld that mission, but we don't really need it. Didn't lose any acro operatives. Aliens killed nine. Let's head back to base. It's kind of a bit of a standard. Oh, Demon Bond is repaired. Bit of a standard mission there. Uh, just clearing out some aliens. But we did shoot down the UFO, which was good. And clear the UFO, so that'll look good on our. Uh... Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when everyone makes it home safely. Yep. Um, we got five melt from that mission. That's fine. If I fight computer damage, power source, make toad core. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'm sorry for the amount of just just sort of mindless overwatching in that there. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!